So have you ever had a horse that for whatever reason you cannot get in the horse float? Well, I have plenty. <laughs> I have plenty of horses. Um, a lot of the horses that, that I get are just uh, from, you know, girls that are at uni now and uh, don't have time for a horse, so they just ring me up and say, well, you know, can you take my horse? And I'm like, yeah, all right, cool. Anyway, um, positive reinforcement is obviously the way that we train dogs and get dogs to do things that they normally wouldn't do or behaviors are a little bit unnatural. And they also uh, are used to get dogs to do something that they're afraid of. Um, so you're pairing something that the dog really, really likes with something um, that he doesn't like, and therefore you negate the thing that he doesn't like, and he gets over it and goes, oh, well, that's not so bad, and he pairs it and thinks, oh, it's actually quite good, so he'll do it over and over again. Getting a horse onto a float is just the same thing. You give um, the horse something that he likes, and encouraging him step by step to uh, end up going onto the float all by himself, so no humans involved whatsoever. So we're in the horse paddock, as you can see, the horse over there in the in the distance, uh, and we've got horse float set up in the in the yards. Now it's best to really chock the tyres of the um, the float, make sure it's to chocked, also uh, so that it can't move in any which way whatsoever. Because if the horse float moves, that scares the horse. Um, so I've got a steel post here, um, which I've got to put a uh, a can on the top here so that nothing can happen there. Because we all know anyone who's got a horse knows that. If a horse can hurt himself, he will hurt himself. Um, so we'll put a can over that uh, so that he can't hurt himself. That there locks the um, the uh, floor down so that it doesn't move. Put a bit of hay here so the horse comes along, uh, eats this bit of hay here. Oh yeah, that's all right. I'll just call it hay. <laughs> eats his, it's been a very long day. Eats this bit of oats here on the ground. Yum, yum, that's delicious. One foot goes on to try and get the top bits of hay oats and and then slowly but surely he'll put his legs up here then he'll get this tray here and keep feeding keep feeding keep feeding sometimes the horse will actually come around to the side here and come around come around but once he gets in the habit of going I really like the oats um, then he's going to come in want to eat the oats want to eat the oats now I've got a whole container of oats here that's the jackpot. I'm going to cover that up to make sure that he can't actually get to it. Just keep coming out here each day and keep feeding him just so he gets this bit of oats here and uh, and thinks that, you know what, that thing that's over there, we call it a float, that thing that's over there is really, really cool. I want to go and um, go inside it and get a feed so that when I actually put a halt on him and say, come on, we're going to go on the float, He's like, yeah, no worries, I love it in there. Last time I was there, I got a massive feed of oats. It was awesome. There you go. That's how you get a horse to go into a float if it doesn't want to.